So I wanna start by having everyone close their eyes and imagine yourself standing at the base of a good climbing tree. Once you have a good tree in mind, suppose you look up into the branches and you picture yourself planning a route to climb this tree. Think about which branches you might grab onto, where you're gonna plant your feet. With that plan in mind, take the first step. Reach out, grab a hold of that branch, and hoist yourself up into the tree. Okay, so open your eyes. So if you're like me, you just created this partially realized simulation of yourself climbing a tree. Moreover, we each just created an entirely unique simulation based on our prior experiences. So I work in artificial intelligence, and in particular, I study the role that simulations like this play in, our, in, in AI's ability to solve problems. I study AI because it represents this profound problem-solving toolkit that we can bring to bear on major challenges facing the world. Some examples include scaling renewable energy systems, assisting doctors com perform complex surgeries and discovering new medicines, as well as exploring new planets. However, AI is not without its potential downsides. Some folks have argued that AI poses an existential risk to biological life on Earth. Even conservatively, it raises complex moral and social challenges, like robotic soldiers, prejudicial machine learning systems, and an unparalleled displacement of jobs. So surely AI will be a catalyst for change. To realize these positive potentials, it's critical that AI flourish in conjunction with a genuine understanding of its core principles. We need AI's behaviors to be interpretable, its failure modes apparent, and its decisions reliable. Toward these ends, I study this question of simulation. To see why this is important, I want us to go back to our tree climbing example from the beginning. So in this scenario, we all explore the use of our own internal mental simulator. At the core of this simulator is a little world model that aggregates our knowledge about trees, about branches, about the concept of up, and the concept of gravity. And using this world model, we can simulate out how our actions will play out in the world. We can evaluate the consequences of our decisions. So for instance, we could imagine that this path might be a good path to take through the tree, a safe path. In contrast, we might find that this path is a risky one because we can see that the jump is too far for us to make safely or that the branch might break when we land. So this ability to use a world model to play out simulations is critical to our everyday lives. Anytime we assess the outcomes of a decision, from playing chess to driving to work to navigating through this very auditorium and planning things long-term like our career and our lives, this world model is so central to everything we do. So, if we want an AI to make effective and reliable decisions, so too does an AI need a good world model. I operationalized this study with a mixture of math and programming. The core of my research is to study a mathematical model of learning and of planning, thereby giving me a foothold to prove theorems about the nature of intelligent machines using and forming good world models. At the same time, I can write code and experiment with these ideas to evaluate the effectiveness of these various world models. In conclusion, my research matters because AI is set to transform our very way of life. Um, in order to make sure this transformation is a positive one, we need to understand the nature of good world models. Thank you. <laughs>